remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Like millions of people around the world, I watched Michael Jordan step up to the mic at Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gigi's memorial to share some words about his relationship with them. I'll be honest with you, family. He did better than I expected. I expected the arrogant Michael Jordan who gave a very, very disappointing speech at his Hall of Fame induction. Remember how he was just calling out old beefs? You know, when you're giving these speeches at Hall of Fame inductions, you're supposed to recognize all of the people who helped you along the way. You know, say nice things about them, right? Like, who, who else was inducted? I believe that was David Robinson was inducted. He said some nice things. Uh, what was that guy that played ball? Sloan? I can't remember his first name. And um, one of those point guards. Anyway, they all said nice things. But Jordan got to his speech, and he just was dragging everybody along the way. Like, he hardly had anything kind to say about anybody who had some influence on his career. So I expected the eulogy that he was to give about Kobe to be more about himself. And I got to say, he surprised me because I just don't think a lot of Michael Jordan. I think that he's a very selfish person and he don't care about his community. And so I really have nothing for him. But he surprised me with that speech. That speech he gave was perhaps one of the best I've ever heard. At a eulogy or otherwise, he talked about how Kobe would call him about basketball tips through the years. He talked about once Kobe caught him in the middle of the night and asked him, you know, what were you doing when you were growing up and you was trying to work on your moves? And he said, Michael Jordan said, he asked him, well, at what age? And then he was like, he said, 12. <laughs> he was like, 12? <laughs> I was still trying to play baseball. But the funniest thing that he said, and this caught everybody off guard, because here's the thing, everybody was thinking it. As he's giving a speech, he's tearing up. And, I mean, the tears are just pouring coming all out of, you know, he got stuff coming out of his nose and everything. And he says, I didn't want to do this because now basically he was like, I have to look at a crime meme, another crime meme for three or four years. Funny as hell because everybody was thinking the same thing. I know y'all have seen that, that crime meme that people share about Michael Jordan. <laughs> funny as hell but when he said that man I burst out laughing funny 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 great speech man I gotta get a dude his props I give him his props on this one I think that Michael Jordan is the GOAT he is the basketball GOAT but I believe that hearing people talk about Kobe Bryant watching the service, it did something to him. I was watching him, they kept panning, the camera kept panning over to him, showing his expression. And I know he and several other people were sitting there thinking about their own mortality. And I know they were thinking about their own legacy. You know, how would things be if they died? You know, would they get the same type of consideration, love, support? And I could see him there just sitting there reflecting and it looked like it did something to him Kobe Bryant I think his friendship did something to him and because I've never seen dude like that before 
I know many of situations. I know a lot of people who know him, and they've had horrible experiences with Michael Jordan. Just, you know, it's been said that he's like one of the most arrogant people you'll ever meet. But I think that Kobe's legacy, Kobe's friendship did something to him, especially after Kobe died. I think he's taking inventory of his own life. And he's going like, man, you know, are they going to do this for me? I do believe that Michael Jordan is the GOAT. He is the GOAT on the court. But Kobe Bryant is the GOAT off the court. And I think Michael Jordan may have been inspired by that. And possibly we could see some a different Michael Jordan. Perhaps a more transparent Michael Jordan, a more open Michael Jordan, a more caring Michael Jordan, a more giving Michael Jordan, a more thoughtful Michael Jordan. Now, Michael Jordan is well into his 50s, so I don't know how much change he could actually make. I haven't seen many people hit 50 years old and become a different person, like all of a sudden change their character. But it would be interesting to see what happens from here on out. What say you? Y'all think he got a shot? Drop a comment. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.